So, I was recently accused of not being a contributing member of society. And it's not the first time that someone said that. And while I don't give much value to other people's opinions, it did get me thinking about what it is that people generally mean uh, when they use that term. What exactly does it mean to be a contributing member of society? And is it necessarily something positive? I grew up having a certain amount of animosity towards society. I felt that I didn't belong and that I really didn't want to be a part of it. I felt as though there was me and there was this separate thing called society that was intent on snuffing out my individuality and molding me into some sort of automaton. And so many of the social constructs and values seem to me to be uh, superficial, uh, backwards, and oftentimes ridiculous. And so I wanted nothing to do with it. But the hard truth that I eventually came to realize is that we are all a part of society, whether we like it or not. And that we all contribute to society in one way or another, whether or not we are aware of it. So in other words, you can't live within society without being a member of society, and every member contributes something. That society is, in fact, um, nothing more than the sum total of all of our individual contributions. Now, when I look at society as a whole, I see so many problems, um, so much conflict, so many negative aspects. There's racism and sexism, uh, nationalism, religious bigotry, um, and all kinds of other forms of division and discrimination. There's corporate greed, political corruption, environmental destruction, and on and on it goes. And all of that exists and is maintained by our individual contributions. We might not be aware of how we're contributing to all of that, and it may often be indirectly, but we are indeed contributing in some way or another. But we can also see that there are a lot of positive aspects within society. There are progressive movements toward equality and social justice. Uh, there are people addressing homelessness, um, addiction, and other mental illnesses, and so on. There are all kinds of various expressions of uh, creativity and love and kindness. And all of that is the result of contributions as well. So the question isn't really about whether or not one is contributing, because we all contribute. The question is really more about what is the quality of our contribution? What specifically are we contributing to? Are we making a positive impact or a negative one? Often the criticism of not contributing is really more about not conforming to certain social standards. And we're all under this pressure to conform to these specific standards. And those who give into that pressure often resent it. And so they will also resent those who don't conform. On the surface, uh, they can be very critical, but deep down they may be envious, wishing that they had the same courage. And when we understand this, we don't have to take it personally. Instead, we can have compassion, and we can go about our own business without having to buy into the belief that we're somehow less valuable. 
When someone talks about contributing to society, often what they really mean is stimulating the economy. Do you have a high paying job? Are you consuming enough? Because so many of us are conditioned to believe that money is the most important thing in life. And in fact, we often sacrifice so much for it. And I don't just mean in terms of our personal time and energy. We go to war for money. We destroy our environment for money. We cheat one another for money. And all of this has an effect on society. But what kind of effect? We tend to think of contributing member of society as someone who lives according to the standards of society, someone who is financially stable, who has a career and owns a house and raises a family and so on. And all of that does indeed contribute to society as a whole. But what it contributes in terms of positive or negative impact has more to do with what's in the details. Having a career and spending money is not in and of itself a positive contribution. You might work for a company that is destroying the environment or poisoning the population or feeding the war machine. And you may be spending money on products that also contribute to destruction and pollution and so on. Raising a family again, is not in and of itself a positive contribution. It's rather about how you raise your family. And more specifically, what are you teaching your children? Are you raising them to be conscious and considerate? Or are you raising them to be naive and selfish? Both are contributing to society. But is the contribution positive or negative? And that's what we really have to look at. And again, not all of our contributions are intentional or explicit or direct. Much of what we contribute, we may be completely unaware of. It may be very indirect. And if we're really honest with ourselves, I think that we would find that all of us contribute in both positive and negative ways. But I, I think it's important to step back and look at our lives and realize what we're contributing, to be more aware of how we may be impacting the world around us. That is, to be conscious in what we're specifically contributing toward. And for anyone watching who feels the sense that they aren't contributing enough, I don't think you realize the power of your thoughts, words, and actions. Because even the smallest thing can have an enormous impact. When you throw a pebble into a pond, that pebble may be very small, but it creates ripples that go out in every direction. And we may be totally unaware of it, but every little thing we do sends ripples all throughout society. Every random act of kindness no matter how small, has a domino effect. When you show kindness to someone, they turn around and show kindness to someone else, and that kindness goes on like ripples spreading in all directions. So don't think for a moment that you are insignificant or that you aren't contributing. Rather, ask yourself, what are you contributing in terms of quality, in terms of positive or negative impact. Society is a reflection of each and every one of us, collectively contributing to the whole. All the conflict that we see in the world is an outward expression of the conflict within us. And when we understand this, we can begin to take responsibility by being more conscious of how and what we're contributing. If we want to contribute to a more peaceful and loving and inclusive society, then we simply have to become more peaceful and loving and inclusive. And 
This is the only way that we can create any real, lasting, positive change in the world, only by first changing ourselves. As each of us grows in wisdom and compassion and understanding, society grows in wisdom and compassion and understanding. So really, the greatest contribution we can give to society is actually our own inner transformation of consciousness.